Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about metaplasia. First of all, what is metaplasia? Metaplasia is a cellular adaptation in which one adult cell type, epithelial or mesenchymal, is replaced by another adult cell type. We have multiple types of epithelium like pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, columnar epithelium, stratified squamous epithelium. So one type of epithelium will be converted into another type of epithelium. This is a cellular adaptation due to adverse environment or excessive unfavorable stress. There is change in phenotype of differentiated cell. Cell will, will be different. So the stratified squamous epithelium of the esophagus will be replaced by the columnar epithelium of the gastric mucosa in case of gastroesophageal reflux disorder. It may be epithelial metaplasia may be mesenchymal metaplasia in case of soft tissue damage due to trauma there may be bone formation mesenchymal means connective tissue embryonic from a form of connective tissue from mesenchyme will have the bone blood cartilage connective tissue are developed so why there is metaplasia what is the reason for metaplasia because of because the replaced cell can better withstand the stress suppose a person is a smoker the tobacco smoke can be better standed can be better withstanded by means of the stratified squamous epithelium tobacco smoke cannot be tolerated by the normal epithelium that is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium of the bronchial tree but the stratified squamous epithelium can can tolerate the smoke what is the possible mechanism of metaplastic change what happens why one type of cell is converted into another type of cell this happens due to reprogramming of stem cells along a new pathway. So there will be reprogramming of the stem cells. What are the etiologic factors for metaplasia? A lot of etiologic factors. These are a few. Adverse environment like cigarette smoking, maybe any type of tobacco smoking, maybe substance abuse smoking gastroesophageal reflux disorder the stomach content will go to the esophagus and the stomach content content contains acid that will irritate the lower esophagus so stratified squamous epithelium will be changed into columnar or gastric epithelium in case of vitamin a deficiency there will be squamous metaplasia pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium of the lung Will be changed into stratified squamous epithelium due to vitamin A deficiency. Vitamin is A is very essential for epithelial health. Okay. Metaplasia. What are the changes occur in the bronchia bronchi of cigarette smoker? In the bronchi of cigarette smoker, we should have pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. These are the cilia. This is a schematic diagram. We have a lot of cell. We have basal cell. Some cell may not go to the surface. We have the goblet cell that secretes mucus. We have also the DNES cell, diffuse neuroendocrine cell, that has not been shown here, but they all are present here. Okay. So this type of pseudostratified columnar epithelium will be converted into stratified squamous epithelium. So this has no cilia, so no sweeping of dust. This has no goblet cell, there is no mucus secretion. Okay, so 
it can withstand the tobacco smoke but its function will be lost and it will be more vulnerable to develop cancer okay so we got that now we'll go to the next question what are the changes occur in the gastroesophageal junction of a guard patient guard means gastroesophageal reflux disorder or disease what happened stratified squamous epithelium of the lower esophagus will be changed into columnar epithelium we can call it gastric epithelium what are the disadvantages of having columnar epithelium in the lower esophagus our esophagus is a narrow channel it it is the site for bolus descent from the pharynx to the stomach so in case of stratified squamous epithelium we have, we have multiple layer of epithelial cell now because of metaplasia the stratified squamous epithelium has been changed into into gastric epithelium that is a columnar epithelium one layer of cell as because one layer of cell so the defense mechanism will be also decreased because of the single layer of cell in the esophagus in a in a wrong place and there will be vulnerable to cancer formation there may be chance of esophageal cancer what is the example of mesenchymal metaplasia okay bone formation in the soft tissue due to stress or pathology that is an example of mesenchymal metaplasia so is it possible to have metaplasia dysplasia and cancer side by side okay we'll put one interrogation here yes it is possible as for example all these may be found in lung cancer metaplastic adaptation is reversible at least initially so if the person don't smoke he has is less he has less chance to get lung cancer if the person can control his gastrointestinal reflux disorder or disease then he has less chance to develop esophageal cancer the stress or adverse environment if persistent may predispose to cancer formation okay and that's all about the pathology of metaplasia if you have any question please feel free to ask me please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me have a nice day bye now